today we're playing Eldervale. Uh, it is by a developer whose name I couldn't find on the page. I'll still leave the itch.io link in the description so you can download it. It is a pay what you want demo right now. And it's the first chapter of a game that takes inspiration from a 2000s style horror game. And how old do I feel that we can say 2000s style now? Gosh. Uh, but it has some modern elements. It's a solo dev project with handmade assets so it, that are stylized. So if it looks a little different, that's why. Um, so let's start with Eldervale. Always good to check the controls. Wow. That's a lot. So walking is W-A-S-A-T. Uh, getting a mouse for this one. Uh, attack, left click, aim, right click, attack, uh, camera, quick heal is Q, interact is E, C is crouch stand, uh, tabs inventory, F is flashlight, R reload, M map, 0, 1, 2, 3 are weapons. Mm, okay, 0, 1, 2, 3 are uh, weapons, and left shift is block. Okay, so the main thing I'm looking at right now that I might probably should be considered uh, for altering is that you use your mouse to aim but zero one two three are the weapons one two three four might work better but this looks very interesting and a little more involved than your standard horror game press space to start my name is Ophelia Delaney I was born in a quiet little town called Alder Stowe my family used to own a large estate there the Delaney Institution they took care of children that were different deviants the townsfolk called them but my parents helped to make them feel safe and comfortable in our boarding school. When I was seven, I got affected by an unknown illness. The doctors tried everything, but didn't think I would live. Uh, my parents were contacted by a wealthy stranger who said to have the money and resources to cure me. He asked to be the headmaster of the institution in return. Bad idea. Children started disappearing. The whole town was looking for them. One day, the police showed up. They said my father had something to do with the case. I had to move to another town to live with my aunt. I haven't heard from my parents since. Ten years have passed, and I still can't shake the feeling that something terrible happened there, and I was a part of it. See, just by how she's describing her past, I can tell her something bad happened. And she only has a feeling that something bad happened. Okay. Well, let's press space to start and get the show on the road. Oh no! Did it already... We'll wait for the program to respond. Is it already crashing? It's always fun when your game unexpectedly crashes. Hey! It worked out! Oh! I like this a lot. I like this style a lot. And she kind of even looks human. Oh, okay. So, oh wow. We can seriously look anywhere. Whoa, oh, let's look at her. Looks interesting. Alright, so let's walk around. And we have a flashlight. Don't have a flashlight yet. Oh, we have to survive the horrors of this. So, the horror. Okay. Um, let's see here. Information. Visiting times. Monday, 15 hours to 16 hours. Oh, E is interact, that's right. Someone lost the key to the staff entrance, so we have to use the spare one Dr. Clark has. You can find him in his office with that odd antique clock. That's an interesting way. Found map. We got our map. All right, visitor's map. Ooh, this is extensive, and it's only the first floor. This is exciting. This looks really good. Very good. I think, see that was like how we were led in. That's a very interesting camera point. Can we jump? I can't remember. I think jumping's the only thing we can't do. Ooh. Oh, that's a book A bookshelf. I thought it was 
a uh, ladder. I don't know why there'd be a ladder in here. Don't ask me. So even though this is a very old place, we have a digital clock flashing zero. Made to safe. Okay, we don't know the code. Picked up matches. Dr. Clark, we regret to inform you that we had to move the antique clock to make way for the digital one as requested by the new leadership. We know how much you like the old one, so you can still find it in classroom 102. Hey, at least they explained it. That's why I appreciate. So we need to set the clock. Alright, so the key was supposed to be in here. The spare one. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to... Let's see. 11, 11, 11. So, oh. 50. Maybe we have to set to visiting hours? I don't know. Okay. Well, we don't know how to, what to do there. So, what say you? We have to go find the uh, antique clock in classroom 102 and then enter that time into uh, that clock. Ah, very, um, what, lobbyish to have a little rope cut off there? Games are exciting. I find this game to be exciting. What's that? Okay, I knew I saw something. These computers seem more modern than I remember them being. Door is locked. You need a key. So that's the key we're working on getting. Let's look at the map. Clock. Does it show where we are? No. It does not appear to. Well, I'm just going to explore. I, re I really... Not all the proportions necessarily make sense, like... I don't know, this just seems to be an odd shape. She's an adult, so she should be close to the height of the door. I don't know. Day specials, we don't have any. That's kind of grim. Door's locked from the other side. See, that's never good. I would not be going back here on my own. I would go to the police, tell them what I remembered of my childhood. Had a good long think about, or had them in investigate the building, discover what horrors there are in safety, and then have a good long think about my life. The music is interesting. It's kind of um, wind effects is what it sounds like. There are horrors, horrors here. It's going to get spoopy, guys. I'm just coming off of playing a uh, Arthur's Nightmare, so I am jumpy. Oh! How about that? Oh, it's partitioned off. That doesn't scream bad idea to be in here at all. Picked up a token. Picked up a matchstick. A picture of my parents. This place was their life's work. They deserve better. So she went to live with her aunt and never heard from her parents again. I wonder if we can interact with the partition or if we're going to hear screams or something bad's going to happen. See, this is the part where someone needs to throw a severed head over the wall. Just saying. Just saying it could be an idea. Yep, that's where the partition was and that door is shut tight. Maybe this is the classroom. So this map isn't particularly literally, literally uh, impressive yet just because I don't know where I can't quite tell where I am I can tell I'm glad that it's marking ah so I must be at the place that it was just to clear the locked door so there's that this door is shut tight too oh no what will we do oh can we go we can't go around all right so, we're supposed to be finding a clock, which I know. I just don't know where the clock is. It said classroom 102, which is nice. It's a nice detail to have included. Um, if I can find it. 
If I could figure out where that is, that would be helpful. Oh, yes, it would be. Stars off on the other side. Oh. Door shut tight, and it's blocked off. So I'm just going to keep wandering for a bit and see if we can figure out where that classroom is, because I don't know. Okay, so this is one of the rooms we were able to go in. There's an antique clock in here. I just missed it. Let's go and see, reread that note and see if the anti clock's like across the hall or something. Oh, we can open this. Uh, no, I wanted the thing. I wanted the thing. Look at matchstick. How nice. We can open drawers. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, you can still find it in classroom 102. Okay, yeah. We can find it in classroom 102. She does not look impressed by any of these discoveries so far. I have to say I'm impressed because I didn't know any of this. This is just chapter one and I'm struggling. Who's surprised? Nobody. Nobody should be surprised. Be sur oh, can we ring the bell? Can we ring the bell? No, we can't. Probably a good idea that we can't. Cafeteria. This is not a classroom. Alright, let's let's read this map a little bit. So the hallways to either side are blocked. The clock's right there and it's circled as clock, but there's no clock. And we went upstairs and we couldn't get into either of those places. Oh, there's supposed to be a door to the right, so let's go and see if we can get through that door. There's supposed to be a door to the right. Oh, I bet it's that one. No, 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 because that's outlined in red. So we should be able to... There's supposed to be a door to the right in the second room, so let's do it. Let's try to find it. Not this room. This room. Wow. Wow, Craylin, wow, look at that. There's a door right there. Missed it completely. Oh my gosh. There's a person there. Let's go hide in 102. Is that person? No, that's a candle, right? So ah! What is this? What, what? is this? Hey, that's stupid. It's because I'm terrified right now. Okay, okay, so I can go out that door. I went in that door, and that's the second door. So classroom 102 is either going to be right across from here. You know what? Whatever. I'm going to get scared. It's going to be fine. I can't see enough around either corner. Okay, so the person just walked there and walked off. I can't really see anywhere. Wow. wow. How about Look. this? Head of the Lady Institution shot, shot dead. dead. A police, police officer had to fire a shot, shot, which was later proven to be lethal when owner of the renowned Delaney Institution was unable to cooperate with arriving police officer Daniel Caulfield and his partner, even after repeated warning shots. Uh, the suspect was armed delirious, a threat to those around him. Okay, well, it's good to know that, uh, the dude that was like, Hey, I want to have power here. What's this lead to? Oh, so we, uh, so that's like the second floor thing, right? Something like that. Ooh, a token, whatever we spend those on. I like this, this is immersive. I am very much interested in this story. I am interested in where it is going. I don't want it to be full of a bunch of tropes. Oh cool, I like that the light is still on. Okay, let's go here. Don't get probably jump scared, it'll be okay though. Wow. 
Well, there's 102. All right. Let's get it towards off the other side. How dumb is that? Okay, let's go here. Restrooms are always a bad idea to be in. There's always something going on in one of the stalls. And look. Look at this design. What does this design say to you? Right now it says that it wants me to go to the open stalls and yeah, yep. look, it does. Time to crouch. Go into the scary room. It's covered in blood so we know it's bad news. Yeah. All right, all the red lights. Well, okay, we're staying up. It's really hard with the camera angle how it is even though you can like go around any I don't know why this is how it is but the bucket is filled with a strange liquid it looks more dense than blood smells different too there's gonna be a body there whatever let's do it jump scare time Hell, it looks like a person crushed into the toilet bowl. Cannot be real. Just instantly dismiss it, huh? Instantly dismiss any possibility of what you're seeing could be a real thing. Okay. Makes sense. How is that the same? Oh, it's not. That's the. I, I see. I was wondering how it could be the same. Maybe this one is. Ah, uh, see, look. What did I tell you? It was good design. You can tell which of the, um, which of the stalls you're supposed to go into because there was a light shining through it. And now we can access this, uh, room from any direction because they lock that door and you can unlock it. Okay, so it says 11 o'clock. Cool. Is that our 12.55? We'll try it once. It looks like... Right, even 11.55. How do we read a clock? I forgot. Alright. 11.55. That's what it looks like it says. Those hands are very even, so that's why it's weird. Picked up a matchstick. Cool. But anyway, that was a very good design. Time is key. Old times become new again. Oh. What is this? Uh, no thank you. I don't want any part of that business. That's the person we saw disappear. Alright. So now we go to the first room to set the time. Cool. But yeah, very good design. It wasn't just a locked door, but it showed you where the path through. So very good directional lines and things that indicated which stall you're supposed to go to to proceed. Alright. So now we know. That? No. So, is it... Okay. So it's not 11.55 or 12.55 or 12 o'clock. Right, okay, okay. No, 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 no. I see what I'm doing. I see what I'm doing. Cause it's on the 24 hour system. So it would be. If it was midnight, it'd be that. And if it were 11, it would be. disorienting. What? I don't like these camera angles, dudes. It's very weird. I don't even know what's going on. I can't see. I'm not going that way. 
See, see the camera, it focuses like, like right yeah. on her shoulder. I'm, I'm not, not doing, doing that. that, it's just automatically setting it. And it's hard to see like, in the room enough to not, to like at least know what you're doing basically. I at least want to see the clues that I'm going to get scared before I jump scare, you know? Okay, so we did that. We did that one, which we're not going to do again. Not until we have a flashlight. The end. Um, there's the person. Let's walk in and get jump scared. Ready, guys? Really? Looks like our dad. Like he can't necessarily see us. So is he not a bad dude? Oh no, that was weird. That was really weird. to walk up to him and get scared, huh? Okay, so I was teleported back here. Well, I wasn't teleported. I walked through a door, got locked up. I was teleported over to that side after opening this door. I guess it was an, ele an elevator that I opened. Our secret passage? Ah. Yeah. See, that's. Was there a jump scare that's supposed, that's supposed to happen to me? Because, like, this door opened, but I wasn't able to go through. I was just suddenly teleported to where that dude was. Nice. Someone's dead, really? Jump scare time. They had an eyeball on him, dude. Here we go, guys. This must be Dr. Clark. How long has he been like this? Enough time to be dead. Picked up key. Yeah, because every time someone dies or commit suicide, they always make sure to do it in such a way that there's a spotlight on them. Oh, I like how you can still hear the creaking of the rope while you're walking away when you're on the other side of that door. So that was how well, we got the key, yeah, because we, we were setting the time to get the key, and then in this case, it teleported us over to where that dude was. I'm thinking that dude is going to be a jump scare, or a girl, but looks more like her dad. It's going to be a jump scare, but since we weren't supposed to be there yet, he's just like, hmm. Now, nah, service entrance. Door unlocked. Let's go. Let's do this. Alright. What have we here? Nothing. Nothing at all. So we have to open things. Really? So that means the last one's saying something scary. Right? No. As so far there hasn't been a single jump scare. There's just a little bit of like a creepy atmosphere. Okay, I can deal with it. So. Huh. 
crap. Oh, this is like the cafeteria. Awesome. So there's someone there cooking. I very much like how uh, tries to get you to know, it shows you the scary stuff. It's like, look, a scary thing. Awesome. Progress saved. Oh, so we save our progress at a picture frame. So that's not a door. I'm just don't know what I'm doing. So we are in, I think, the big room. No, we're in the, the room that's on the bottom right with like several doors. So let's just keep up progress. Let's make it our mission. Oh, we need a key, so never mind. Oh, is the dude not there anymore? Huh. Okay, probably gonna get... Seriously, I'm just waiting for a jump scare. Day specials, we don't have any, so we're... Yeah, we were in the bottom right. We didn't manage to go into the door that leads to the bottom, bottom right, so let's try that. So, that door's locked, which will lead up, it's the one straight across, huh? No, it would be the one that goes into the kitchen, I think. I think it's the kitchen. That would make sense, right? Yeah, sorry that every, like, fifth sentence is, it's gonna be a jump scare. Ah, uh, I'm just, I'm very... much in a jump scare place. Easily stunned. So yeah, someone was in here. That's nice. You know what? I have no idea where we are now. Yeah, we wait, wait, wait. We, we walked through this. We walked through this. And when we went back to this way. Did we walk through it? Because we didn't open the refrigerator. I thought we had already walked through this. Oh, that shadow spooked me. How silly is that? Let's go back. So we did walk through here and then someone just manifested. So, that's all. Backwards we go through the cafeteria. I'm very, yes. All this is doing good, I think. Do, I like the footsteps. I'm convinced that we are walking on hardwood. All right. So we've made a lot of progress through here. And uh, this video is running a little long, um, it's like we're all, almost 30 minutes, so we'll continue progress in the next video. I hope you've enjoyed it so far, and until next, till Elder Rail Part 2, Rail out. Mm -hmm.